This is tutorial number 100, and it covers the Boolean add application within CATIA v5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 99 and open tutorial part number 100. Now, the difference between the two is that 100 is a one body and 99 is two bodies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, an application of why, as redundant as it looks, why we're adding these two bodies together. Now, with the add feature, really, visually, there's absolutely no difference. It's exactly the same part, but down to a part level, there's uh, more significance by adding these two bodies together. So say I wanted to add a fillet where the circle comes out from the box, so just like around there. When I try to select it here, I can't select that edge because there's two bodies and there's no edge really there. If I go to tutorial part number 100, there's a defined edge right around there. So when I go to this one here, when I try to use the fillet and I try to get that edge, I'm running into problems. It's not going to allow me to do it. If I go into number 100, and if I try to do that fillet around that same edge, I'm able to do it make it 10 millimeters, click OK, and I've added a fillet around the circle there. So by adding these two bodies together, I'm able to uh, create uh, a feature such as this fillet, and you're getting edges where you should be. So this is really one solid now. Whereas with 99, that's two bodies, you don't get any edges around there. Each part is independent from each other, and you're not going to get those edges to create your features off of. So this is an application and it's a reason why we're doing a boolean add. Uh, from the tutorial before it does look pretty redundant adding these two parts together because they make no difference but later on when you're trying to do more features to it uh, there is a lot of significance to adding these two bodies together to make one single body. And that concludes our tutorial on the boolean add application within CATIA v5.